hi hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so with this video i'm starting a kind of a series on azure devops how we can use it for the agile scrum team agile scrum practices so today uh, in this brief video i will share the sprint view what all features and capabilities it provides so uh, this is kind of a, a sample project in azure devops that i have set it up and uh, Let's click on the boards and then we can have this sprints. Okay, so when we click the sprints, we get on the right hand side the sprint view, which have the task board, which we have backlog, we have capacity analytics, and uh, different other options. So we will try to explore, like, you know, how we can use these options, you know, when we are planning our sprint, when we have to do the sprint tracking. So let's just expand the view so we can simply click on this one this will give us an expanded view so here you can see that you know uh, the very first information that we can get about this particular sprint view is we have one active sprint so sprint one is the one which is active it is started on feb 20 it will end on march 3rd so it was a two weeks of a sprint we have one more day, one more working day to go and uh, this is the task board so i mean what all tasks we have defined our is in our sprint those will be listed here and the reason up to use this one is i mean for some of the members and for some of the teams it could be handy let's say this particular task is done they can simply you know drag it and you know make it uh, closed otherwise what they have to do is you know they have they will have to click on this one and select the state from here and you know select the closed one right so other thing could be you know they can simply drag it right so this drag and drop is much more handy rather and time saving compared to you know we go each individually at each one of the task and then try to mark them as closed so this is about kind of a brief on the task board we can see you know what all are active resolved and closed and we can configure these states as well configuration i will try to cover sometime later other important view is the backlog which is kind of a complete sprint backlog so this is how it looks it gives us the work items which we have pulled in our sprint which are uh which team has planned in this current active sprint so we can see we have four user story if we simply expand this one this will give us you know the tasks that are defined under under this user story right and we can define task under a user story from here we can define a user story whatever work item we want to define in this sprint backlog we can define from here other handy feature is you know if you simply click on the plus so this will also from here we can define a task so automatically it will come under this particular story so we can say a task here let's say review comments right and uh, you can see you know this particular task is getting defined under this story and we can simply say save and close right so this task gets defined here right and uh, other important information is the column option so we can change the display columns here using the column options so let's say if i click on the column options so these are the currently displayed columns and if i want like story points to be appear after state i can drag it if i want let's say a column called uh, change date when a work item was updated what was the last change date of that particular work item so i can simply select change date here i can click on ok so now you can see the changes now story point has come after the state and we also have a new column called change date so we can configure how this particular sprint backlog looks at the display of it using the column options okay other important feature is the filter so if we just keep the mouse over it it will give it will tell that this is a filter view and if i click on it so we can see you know the some filters are already defined like in this particular uh sprint backlog we have just two types of work items we either have a user story we either have a tasks so if i say you know let's give me a list of user stories so i can click on this one so now we all all we are getting is a list of user story simply i can say you know give me a list of tasks so this is the one and if you want to clear the filters i can click on the clear similarly if i want to assign like you know uh, if i want to see you know what this particular member is working on i can click on this member now this particular member is working on these two tasks right so those filters can be applied here and other handy information about this particular sprint view is this planning like view options so if i simply click on this one and click on the planning so this will tell me you know what exactly what sort of planning this particular team has done right so in sprint one they have four 
user stories and they have 16 tasks defined and they also have 15 story points of overall effort in the sprint one so this 15 is the story points so this gives us a good information about you know when we are planning our sprint we can you know clearly see you know how many stories we have pulled how many story points of work we have defined those set of information and uh, other important information is on the capacity so i mean when we are doing the planning for our scrum team we can list our team members here and you know let's say there is a particular member who is going to take one day off so that you know we can define here let's say he's going to take off on the first of march so it's a single day leave so that can be set here if there are any holidays in between the sprint duration that is applicable for all all the team members we can define here that will be the team days off and here we can define the capacity on a daily basis you know let's say this particular guy anil he's working on six hours per day and uh, similarly for each of the member you know depending upon their workload and uh, other feature is the analytics one right so we can see the sprint burn down which is getting generated based on the work based on the sprint backlog right so here we will be able to see the capacity information as well like i mean we can we can just click on show remaining capacity at the start of the day like this is kind of a sample sprint i mean i didn't define the work items on the day when i was started the sprint so this is more like a sample so this burn down may not be looking right but i mean we can always see the burn down in using the analytics view so we can have a burn down on the task backlog we can also have a burn down on the stories backlog which we can say you know give me the stories which is defined like we already saw that you know we have 15 story points of work which is defined and from here we can also see that right so so that was kind of a brief about the sprint view in azure devops i mean how we can kind of you know utilize this particular sprint view when we are doing our sprint planning when we, when we want to do the tracking so we can use the analytics for the sprint burndown which will reflect some of the information based on the generated data right so thank you thanks everyone thank you for watching this brief video